JP, according to Jay Lee. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What's up, Scott? Welcome to, and Jay Lee, welcome back to Talk in the Orville. Awesome. You guys, it's so good to see you. What's up, brother? You, Justin. <laughs> well, I got some questions. I, you know, Jay Lee, I like to just have a conversation, but I thought I'd be prepared I'm this time to, I got to maximize sure. uh, to maximize this. So I wrote stuff down. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Uh, not only do we get caught up with the Orville universe in Electric Sheep, uh, but there are a lot of new toys and areas of the ship to play with. Gordon gets a new whip to fly around in, and John gets an expansion to the engine room to watch him nay nay. Tell me all about it, you guys, and what other fun things might Orvillians have to look forward to in New Horizons. Okay, well, that's ship. I'm going to start with that. I'm so glad I forgot it was in that we can talk about the ship. Right? Yeah, yeah, we can yeah. talk about it. That ship was it was as real as it can get. Obviously, it didn't fly, but I had to get on a big ladder, get into it like you would a ship. It was as, it was huge. Yeah, and that made it so cool because, again, you didn't have to pretend. And then when you're up there flying, there was a version of that ship that was on this gimbal. Yeah, I could go upside down and I did. Uh, uh, just like that, you did with the krill. With yeah, the krill right, exactly. That was a dip. Yeah, same kind of concept. And uh, it was just so awesome to. Yeah. And also to come up with like, what does this button do? And I, <laughs> know, I had it all figured out. It was so cool. So you a get to design right? what the buttons do. Kind of. Well, I yeah, get to tell you what they do. They were, they were just, <laughs> you know, light, lighten up. But I'm like, this one does that. <laughs> This is the seat warmer. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. This one makes yeah. coffee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and engineering is crazy. Like, it's a two-level engine room. And the the quantum core is, is there. It's amazing. It was fun to have, like, sort of my own sort of space. And I have my own crew. And uh, I have my, 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 my cast of sort of my misfits with Yafit and, you know, some other oh, folks. Yeah. But... Uh, uh, but yeah, no, the engineer and astrophysics is is unbelievable. Like they, the sets they made were so great. Yeah, the sets, especially, I mean, a huge step up in everything all around. But when the camera first swoops in in the engineering and you see the core, the the the, the doors are open, and you yeah. guys are actually standing in there having a chat. Yo, that shot was so dope. They had this really long crane shot. I don't think you were there, Scott, but it started all the way in the back of engineering went all the way through to where that quantum core is. And then we were on, I mean, we we're 30 feet in the air. Uh, I, I, sort I of, there. Yeah. That, oh that, yeah. Yeah. That, no, I've been there. The, that. I wasn't on that, that shot. Oh, the shot was crazy. Cause it goes through the quantum core and then it comes up to us on this sort of bridge up top. But yeah, I think, I think, I think yeah. getting rid of the carpet in the bridge was the best thing this year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no carpet it was just getting dirty. <laughs> yeah. We don't need carpet. Yeah. They don't have to digitally remove any stains or anything. Exactly. Like that. Yeah. yeah. And what other, what other types of things are you looking forward to introducing to, to sharing with the audience when it comes to the toys you guys get to play with? So many things that, yeah, that we're not allowed to say there are so <laughs> many things. like per episode, there's something uh, hush hush that we're not even allowed to say. I mean, I'm yeah. looking, I only have my cheat sheet because like I told Jay Lee, I think there's a sniper out there from Hulu that if I say the wrong thing, I'm going to get a dart in the neck. He's out of there. He's asleep. <laughs> It wouldn't be the first time Hulu's taking somebody out for spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but no worries. Anything that I deem is, is something that could be a, a spoiler, I am saving that for spoiler-appropriate okay. times later on throughout the season. So you yeah. can just tell me everything. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Justin. You got now, it. <laughs> with this first episode, which was not only amazing and full of hope, and but there was also some heartbreak in the premiere episode. So despite both Gordon and John having personal relationships with Isaac over the last two seasons, how have their opinions changed since the events of the identity saga, as I call mm. it? Uh, we find out in Electric Sheep that Gordon isn't so keen on Isaac anymore. And you guys were buds, man. Yeah, and I think that's why, because I trusted him and, we, uh, and I loved him. And that's where just, you know, that disappointment when you really love somebody and that happens. That's why Gordon uh, is having that reaction, because he feels, uh, you know, he, he, he doesn't trust him anymore. And that that hurts. It hurts the heart. Yeah. Hurts yeah. even more because because you knew him. That was that exactly. was your Mr. Potato pal. Yeah, exactly. Right there. <laughs> what about uh, how is uh, uh, John feeling about Isaac this season? John said, you know, I think I said this before, but if you go back to the pilot, uh, I was playing John where he didn't really trust Isaac, but we didn't know where this was going. Mm -hmm. So 
Uh, I think John just feels bad for what has happened. I think he can sort of see every aspect of it and how this would even come to pass. So that's why he's at the funeral and he's not all the way off and is completely excited to try to bring him back. Yeah, it seems like a path to redemption is a, is a big thing going on uh, this season with, with some of the characters. and uh, But also uh, the fact that, uh, that John was – actually, let me go back, you guys. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Jay Lee, uh, I want to get these questions in. How is the Orville doing the work in New Horizons? And oh, what's uh, in store for the ship's resident girl guru? Listen, first of all, I'm just the chief engineer. The girls are distraction to me, making sure this ship is 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 doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, but uh, I think we're doing better and doing the work uh, just by talking about a lot of stuff that I think people are going through today. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're we're shining a light on some cool stuff, I think. Well, uh, there's lots of new stuff. We got new characters. We got a new dynamic going on in the season. So, Scott. Gordon gets a new pal this season with Charlie Burke, played by Ann Winters. How's the dynamic between Gordon and Charlie this season, and what's it like working with Ann? Well, working with Ann is is great. She's a, a a terrific actress. She's a good sport. You know, she's a bit younger than uh, some of the people on that set, and uh, when things go late sometimes, and I get goofy, <laughs> she can take it. Um, but you know, no no one will ever. I'm sorry, I'm going to say this. Ever be like John Lamar uh, driving the ship with? And, you know, Jay Lee and I had a great thing going up there. So this would be the first time I think Gordon is like, OK, I don't mind this smart, uh, talented person. Uh, mm-hmm. So, you know, if anybody's going to replace John Lamar, it's, it's her. And, and, and uh, I think he he gets a kick out of her and she kind of gets a kick out of him. And she's just a, a wonderful person to, to work with. So it's a win win. Yeah, having the navigator seat uh, uh, minus uh, Lamar has been a big hole in all Orvillian's hearts going on here for since last season, well, the end of the first season. And so we're always great, you know, grateful to see J- uh, John on the bridge or take a visit down to engineering. So uh, we're still hoping for some more uh, John and Gordon adventures going on this season. So uh, if there's anything you can... Uh, uh, give us some insight into no spoilers, but you know, just sure. vibe. Well, we still have our moments. John and Gordon are still cool. And Scott, you know, you talk about how sometimes you got to come down to engineering. If you're going yeah. through something. I also think just as a, as a, as a storyline, Seth realizes that when you present something, the first season and a half of two mm-hmm. guys, and then you separate it whenever they come back together, even in the smallest moment, it has, it has that effect. And that's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. So when it, you'll see it, it's going to you'll see John and, and Gordon. Uh, yeah. Do something together. Nice. Well, the, we got a little adventure in the comic books, which was nice. But we want to see you guys, you know, uh, get out there in space together and going on an adventure. It's what we love. We will. Before we run out of time, I have to ask both of you, why should Orvillians and new fans alike uh, come aboard and watch New Horizons? Well, I'll just say the production value and the the sort of upgrade to everything uh, from the uniforms to the set to the shots is just unbelievable. The music, uh, there's a lot of detail and care in every single aspect of the show. And uh, I think it really comes out on screen. I think Seth just got is getting better and better and better at what he wants to tell people. Uh, this isn't like third season where someone's like, oh, what do we write about? He, right. His ideas are just, they keep coming and they keep getting better. Uh, and they're only going to, if we ever do another season, they're only going to keep getting better because Seth does not write anything he doesn't want to write. Um, and so yeah. it's bigger. Everything's better. And, yeah. and the episodes are like 60 plus minutes, no yeah. commercials. So it's yeah. a lot of, lot of show. You can tell the story he's always wanted to tell with time. Well, it's a show that we all want to watch. It gets better and better at making things we all want to watch. It looks like it's time to wrap up. Uh, love we to talk to you guys in the future when there's more stuff to talk about. Just uh, hit us up, buddy. We'd love it. All right. I'll hit you both up. And Gordon yeah. gets hit up a lot in these three seasons. You got beat up this season one at one point. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but all right. Good. Nice talking to you guys.